Greetings, mortars, foreign dogs, niggers, niggerettes, ladies, gentlemen. It is a Monday, you. It is three, and it is time to gather your chi. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend, do. But alas, the weekend has ceased, and it is time to painting. So, let us begin. Boom. -boom. Bubum. 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 I take my royal rag and place it upon my demi divine knee. I take my goo. And I rode the parrot. From time to time, the goo hardens on the parrot. Like Weetabix on a table. Those of you who have children will know all about what I speak of. Some new goo. Is required. Ooh, that's a that's a rot of goo. Allow the music to permeate your spina. For it is Monday, and it is timer. Come now! Behave yourself, goo! I will clean it later. Now is the time for painting, goo. Now is not the time for scraping hardened goo off of things. Hmm. If you have not gathered your chi, do so now. Where's my fan? It's time to frex. Painting goo! Painting goo. Mm, painting goo. Mm, painting goo. Painting goo! Monday ooh! Uh, painting goo! It's fucking goo! Painting you! Painting me! It's painting goo! It's fucking goo! Painting you! Painting me! It's painting goo! It's fucking goo! Yo! More brack under parrot! I said more brack on the parrot. That's more like it. Do not defy me, goo. Some yero. Some brack. Some brew. And some red. With these colors, we cannot create any painting goo we so desire. With the correct knowledge of how colors work, we can manifest anything our hearts desire. 
trust you, Brew. So tightly bound. There we go. As the Japanites gather, I rode the parrot. Painting goo, painting goo, painting goo. Painting goo, 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 goo. Ah, the spider dances upon the violin. Where's my red? Yes. Allow the music to permeate your spina. For it is now timer. We have a yeti and some Nazis to finish. Where's my bitches? We get the bitches wet. And this aroused the goo to maneuver about the canvas zoo. A quick sip to cleanse the parrot. Uh, this time it has juice in it. Oh. Oh. I must have roosted my surf. I engaged in the creening of my domain. The female and I fucking cleansed the shit out of our gaff over the weekend. So, I am exhausted. Can you tell the circars beneath my eye whores? They are quite brack. I've had a fucker sleeper, but this will not stop me from going. Desmondu, Stabaru, shall we begin? The demi knee is ragged. <laughs> if you do not like painting goo, you will be p you will be tea bagged. <laughs> Indeed, but not in the way you think. The painting goo version of Teabagged is I will flay you and I will dry out your skin like a hide and then mulch it and then place it in a tea bag and then turn you into tea. That is how one gets tea bagged on painting goo. I will literally turn you into tea. That's how the Asians deal with their problems. I will uh, make you into some tea. Ugh. Why kill your enemy when you can make something useful out of them? And I know what you're thinking. Wouldn't flaying someone kill them? Not necessarily. I simply peel away a layer of your back. I will hang you by your fingers and your toes, spread eagle, in the glorious halls of painting goo. And I will sever segments of flesh from your spina, and dry them out over a period of weeks. And I will do this in front of you, so that you can see it all happening. You can see me turn you into a tea bag. How does human tea taste, you ask? That is for me to know, and you to never discover, hopefully. It's probably some fucking... What's that chap's name again? Ted Bundy-esque lunatic on the internet. Yeah. Do you know what? I never thought of that. That's a great idea. Oh, right. Is everything in order? I believe it is. Let's give this yeti some teeth! For that, 
I have chosen the wrong bitch. Or have I? <laughs> oh, Gepu. Glorious Gepu. They say it's a round head. But because of my seriously intense skills with the painting goo, I could probably sharpen it. Iron Manbaru! Yeah, I didn't ask. <laughs> you rye! You rye! I cannot read your minder! Painting goo. Part of your mortal brain was sitting there contemplating. How does one turn a mortar into a teabag? <laughs> it's like the other part of you was like, I don't want to fucking know. <laughs> painting goo! Painting you! Uh, painting me! It's painting goo! To tooth a yeti! I'm on a horse. My apologies for this morning's confusion. It would appear that Rumber is a bunch of rying fucks. Painting goo. Painting goo. It's painting goo. It's fucking goo. There is literally a button on Rumber that says Go rive now! This is a rye. You cannot go rive now. You must do many things to set that bitch up. And then even then, you must wait a period of 24 human hours. Seriously. Since descending from the realm of heaven against my will. Blast you, monkey king! I have become acquainted with this concept of time. But all you mortars have to deal with. And I must say, it vexes me. 24 hours just to be able to stream a ridiculous. I'm gonna give him like Asian teeth. You know, you know those ones that like the Oni teeth, the d the Asian demon teeth that extend sideways out of the jaw. Why? Because Yetis are Asian. That's why. Any argument against this is furry. Paid pain, 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 paid pain. Oh, get that shamisen into you. If you have not allowed the music to permeate your spina, I will teabag you. And you may think you know what that means, and you'd be wrong. Because as I have just explained, here on Painting Goo, teabagging is not what you think you. It's much, much, much worse. The last thing you want is to be teabagged by a half Irish, half Asian demigod. Yes. Yes, it's that time of day. Crap for painting goo. You pitiful beings. 
crap for painting goo. Or you will be teabagged. I will fray you. I will dry you out. Like rather on a hot day. And I will praise you into a tea bag. Run hot, glorious agua through you. Wait a moment, and then sip you, gently, throughout the evening, absorbing your chi and your essence, so that you will not even be able to reincarnate in this realm. That is a true tea. This film can fuck off! You know why? Because now is not the time for frivolous advertisements. Now is the time for painting goo. But you disrespectful, onerous dogs, continue to- Thank you. I almost lost my shit there. It is now time to dance with some demons. If you've never danced with a demon before, you're about to. There are several rules to take into account while dancing with a demon. Rule number one. Paint, paint. Paid, paid. Roll number two. Paid, paid. Paid, paid. Roll number three. Paid, paid. Paid, paid. Paid, paid. Painting goo, goo goo. I jest. One should only remember one paramount rule when dancing with demons. And that is, don't fucking dance with demons on your, on, unless you're a demigod, like myself. I can afford to dance with demons. You know why? Because I'm Irish. As it has been famously pointed out before, the Irish cannot be psychoanalyzed, even by the ethereal forces of the demonic realm. That's why we drink so much. Ding, ding, goo, 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 goo. Brother Stabaru. As you have requested, the abstract red and black symmetrical designer has been made available for you in sticker form on Teespring. Purchase at your leisure. <laughs> Ret or your hatred seed for rumber, rant rant. <laughs> Hi, ya. Uh... Indeed. <laughs> like, what kind of fucked up, stupid fucking bullshit is that? Go live now. You can't go live now. <laughs> a button should not be a thing. Oh, God. It's my own fault. I'm too, uh... I'm too assumptuous. I just assume things are going to work in, like, a simplistic and efficient manner. Uh, because they appear to be set up like that. It's like, it's always just, oh, just click this and just click this and you, you'll be ready to go in seconds. You, there's literally a 24 hour waiting period. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, I have a so much hatred burnt up in my bloodstream right now that I could melt Henry Crinton's face. Pate, Pate. That bitch's visage would not stand a chance. Pate, Pate. 
I have so much pent up rage in my system right now that I could vaporize Biden <laughs> with a whisper. I could just go, cunt, and he would just be reduced to a fine mist of arthritis and dementia. Sip, sip. Ugh. I'm so pissed right now that if I stared wrong enough at any political figure, foreign or domestic, they would be reduced to a puddle of goo that I would then use to paint a masterpiece. Those teeth really gave it something, didn't they? <laughs> the cake is is less of a ride than the go live button. <laughs> oh, those things are hilarious. Is it cake? <laughs> Find out after the break when we cut it in half. There's so many like modern tropes these days that like I actually like some like most of them I find funny and then some of them actually just like make me seethe <laughs> with rage. I watch a guy on YouTube called uh, Shredded Sports Science. His videos are pretty hilarious. Um he basically just takes the piss at a gym culture. You know, the recent trendings and such. And I'm telling you now, holy fuck. There's a. Uh, whatever about the males, you know, bodybuilding and working out and going to the gym and doing all that stuff. When I see a female who has, like, a physique uh, that, like, you could describe as, like, Olympian, I want to vomit. This is no lie. This is no exaggeration. When I see when I see a female with accentuated with, whose pecs have overridden her breasts and whose biceps make Arnold's look like you know a bit peaky, I, I just fucking I, I I want to violently vomit all over the place. Like I'm sick of them. They make me sick, and I am sick of them. These females. They can't even, like, you can't really call them females anymore, like, you know? They may as well be, like, a fucking... Chemically... Gym-powered version of trannies or something, like, I don't know. I should probably just start like uh like when I'm in a when I'm in a bad mood and I need and I wanna like vent and shit, I should just do like YouTube shorts or some shit like cause the amount of people that I would like piss off to the point where they would be furiously typing in the comments and stuff like that, like That's we all know that's how you get attention these days. Piss everyone off By doing what? By just saying how you feel. <laughs> I'd probably make millions in, in a matter of weeks just by getting online and saying like do you know what I really hate about cunts <laughs> like <laughs> Defender Bear how do you define a cunt oof that's a difficult one it's such a broad meaning word these days so many different categories of cunt these days. You have your e-thought cunts, you have your feminist cunts, you have your ignorant, dumb bitch cunts. <laughs> Rage painting, it's a thing. I haven't tried that yet, maybe I should. And like the females actually suggested that to me. She was like, if you're in a bad mood, like just like go express it on the canvas and like, I legitimately turned around to her and I was like, I don't want to share that energy with people. <laughs> like, but maybe I should, like.
I don't know, everybody else does it. But then again, I don't want to be like everyone else. I want to be better. I want to be better than all of you. Um, but maybe I should. Maybe it'd make me feel better or something. Like, just, uh, just hit the record button and be like, Alright, I've had enough of this shit. See all these trannies and these cunts and these fucking politicians and these fags and these fucking, like, just, like, hit all the boxes. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, not only do I think that most of you should be arrested and flogged. <laughs> But like, but part of me just wants to fucking set fire to the rest of you. <laughs> like, there's a there's a large part of me that thinks that you should be grabbed about the ankles, turned upside down, and then dragged violently for a long distance through grit, sand, and gravel, and then placed on a barbecue, and then flung into a fucking like ocean to just be savagely gnawed upon and crushed and like sinewed ripped apart by fucking sharks and shit like although that that like i don't know like what's i don't know slowly just slowly just dropped into a wood chipper or something like you know a former uh a former female that i was uh in relations with um years ago told me about this uh uh, method of torture that she like I don't know like she claimed to have invented it but God only knows she like probably uh, seen it from somewhere else but I, when she described it to me I was like that's quite meticulous and violent <laughs> I'm impressed <laughs> like she was like so what you do is you strip them down naked and then you use super glue to just like glue them to a tile floor or or a glass sheet. And then you take a, <clears throat> a nail clippers and some lemon juice, right? And you just like take the nail clippers and just like clip a chunk out of like their chest or their elbow or the like you know the the back of the tricep, and then you just like rub lemon juice into it. <laughs> paint, paint, <laughs> paint, paint, rage paint. Paint, paint. Twinkaroo! <laughs> Welcome to painting. I was about to say, like, Twinkaroo! And then you just see the Iron Man bears say, Vomit your tea? Question <laughs> mark? I would never do such a thing. I would never waste my, uh, cunt powered tea. <laughs> Painting goo 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 So yet he's looking fiercer by the second. I rub it. Speaking of rub. Do not forget to order your painting goo t-shirts. Rig in description. A portion of the proceeds of the painting goo t-shirts. Powered by my surf and printer bear. Goes to Bartarian Ozarks. Support what you like, or it will go away. Painting goo 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 <coughs> Oh glorious Kepu Corbaru Welcome to Painting Goo Diving this morning won't be typing. Wish you are aware. Much rub, many rafts. Indeed, most work move. Although it would be hilarious if you, uh, <laughs> if you had one of those fucking waterproof things and you were like <laughs> underwater watching painting. 
Underwater painting goo. We'll look into it. Forgive me, I forgot to descend to proper painting goo posture. Excellent. Uh, what's our D Rive on? I don't know. D Live? I don't do D Live. I tried to do fucking Rumble this morning and it failed miserably. Nearly fucked up the stream for the day because I had to sign out of fucking Streamlabs and then sign back in. Oh, what a pain in the hole. <laughs> Seriously, I just can't get over that. Like, the simplicity of how retarded that is. You're like setting up a. Stream on it, like, it, like uh, was it? It's like go go live. You like you click on the tab and it's like go live, and then it's like setting up the stream, putting in the name of the stream, and then like uh, and then putting in the description, and then like giving it a category, giving it a thumbnail, and then giving it like a fucking loop video that goes on like an intro video before you start to stream and all like, and then it's like, do you want to go live now or do you want to like schedule a live, right? And it's like, no, I want to go live now because I want to do like a test, like to see what happens. Like, and it's like, oh, you want to go live now? Okay, just fill out this form and wait 24 hours. <laughs> it's like, it's one of those moments where you just want to put your fist through the monitor, like, you know, paint, paint, <laughs> paint, paint. I must have given my Nazis beautiful brew eyes. Pete, Pete. You can't have a Nazi without beautiful brew eyes. Pete, Pete. Pete, Pete. Nazis. Painting goo, goo goo. Pete, Pete. Nazis. Pete, Pete. Nazis. I would actually love to, like, I'd, <laughs> I'll do a, a fucking, one of these days, I'll, uh, I'll forego the hat and the map and all, like, you know, like we have been doing recently, like, ah, uh, somebody has a, Paid for painting goo. You'll bring yourself much honor. Iranian drone pirate. We would have gotten away with it if it weren't for that pesky f <laughs> iron doma. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Fucking Iranians and the Israelis are just like, uh, they're like fucking having a pissing contest, basically, like. Can't have Nazis without beautiful blue eyes. Hiya. We give them, will we give them little Hitler statues? I would have done that if I was Hitler. I would have made every single dude in the army have a fucking Hitler mustache. That's what I would have done, even if it was like tattooed onto their face. <laughs> Do you imagine how fucking hilarious that would have been if literally every member of the Nazi military had just like a little black square on their lip? <laughs> like, they're all like this. Like, oh, I actually can't believe they didn't do that. Like, I would have taken full advantage of that. Like, do you know what I mean? If I'm gonna wear this box stash, so are the rest of you. It sure be so. Painting go 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 go. Paint paint. Paint paint. Paint paint. Paint paint. Box stash. Oh, 
Am I the only one that thinks that's a good nickname for like that type of mustache? Is a box stash? Paint him. Paint, paint. Sip, sip. Ugh. Okay. Need to work on the uh, the assert rifle for this Nazi soldier. Soldier. Okay. Um, give me my greys. Paint, paint. Get that gun meter grey going. Paint, paint. Painting. Goo -goo. That time of day where I have to make some browner. Stabru gets really excited. <coughs> oh, glorious Kepu. We take some yarrow. We take some red. We make arange. And then we make a dabrana. That was too much red. We need more yarrow. Yaro. Well, let's see what happens if we just throw some brack in there. It is indeed a dark browner. That's a fucking... That's a Ugandan... If I've ever seen it. That's a Ugandan brown. Sure. Hi -ya. Take some of the white. That was way too much white. I underestimated the power of the white. Right, try that again. We take it a red. We take it a yellow. We make it a orange. <laughs> Just take the word orange, pronounce it phonetically. Instead of orange, it becomes orange. Now, slow it down. Oh, orange. Explain that one. have a mustard orange. Now, let's see if we can make a nice medium to light brown for the rifle stock of this STG-44. The Stormgewehr! Yes, that's more like it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think a little bit more red and a little bit more black 
And it will be perfect. <laughs> ja, mehr blau, mach schnell! <laughs> Uh. Start getting people really worried by like speaking a lot of German on the stream, like. <laughs> Willkommen auf Malerei. <laughs> Für Marken ein Yeti und U-Booten. What's pay for something? I can't remember. I can't remember like what it is to buy something or, or to pay for something. Now we're marking the flesh color. For the Nazis' hand. Take some white, some red. This gives us a pale pink. Let me slap a bit of yellow in there. Paint, paint. Nazis! Paint, paint! Nazis! Paint, paint! Paint, paint! Paint, paint! Nazis. Painting goo 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 goo. Stash is okay, but it might be mistaken for a female anatomy. <laughs> no, that's a stash box where you stash things. <laughs> hey, <-ya. laughs> Mustard gas orange. A beautiful shade of color. <laughs> Their price is right! <laughs> Painting goo 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 
Where are we going to put the... Uh, just put a big black swastika on the side of the U-boat. I suppose we have to put the red background on it, don't we? I'll do the red background first. A beautiful crimson background and a beautiful black swastika. Say what you want about the Nazis, they had fucking style. They had so much style, it was a little bit gay. Pete, Pete. Nazis. Pete, Pete. Nazis. Pete, Pete. Nazis. Right, I'm gonna make brown out again, but it's gonna be writer. Pete, Pete. Painting go go go. <coughs> oh, glorious couple. Paint, paint. You will have a female's asking for the Hitler racks. <laughs> Do you imagine you get bitches to fucking go with the salons and be like, yeah, I want the Hitler job. <laughs> God, like with the way, with the way, like our, uh, the way, like existence is and stuff like that. Like there, there could very well be a time in the in the near future where the pendulum swings, and like a lot of people start like getting really big into the Nazi stuff, and like you see people walking around like the way fashion changes and stuff like that and repeats itself. Like, imagine if like within our timelines you started to see people walking around again, like you know brandishing swastikas. And like uh, the combination of dark grey and red and black, and uh, you know, putting like uh, blue eye contact lenses in, and like dyeing their hair blonde, and like leather boots and shit. Like, <laughs> if all these bitches here, like, instead of getting a Brazilian, they get their pubic hair shaved into a square. <laughs> Oh, fuck it up. Uh, right, okay. Do 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 do. Paint, paint. Paint rope. Paint, paint. Kind of want to put a shark in here with a, uh, a box stash. Paint, paint. I could totally put something in the bottom left hand corner here. Put in a shark that's like uh, got a box stash on a paint paint. Did Johann Sebastian Bach have a mustache? Because then you could call it a box stash. <laughs> they put the fashion in fascism, yeah. <laughs> Painting. 
Sip, sip. Oh, God. It was so fucking cold this morning. I, I looked at the, the weather thing on my phone, and it was like 8 degrees Celsius, but it feels like 4 degrees Celsius. And I was like, what does that even mean? It like, do you know, it's like the fucking phones have become feminists. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, look, the measurements say, like the, the, like the fucking, the tools that we use to measure the temperature of the surround, like of the atmosphere and the, the, the fucking, you know, the outside and shit like that is saying that it's eight degrees Celsius. But it feels like it's four degrees Celsius. Like, I'm there looking at me phone, like, just like, want to hop it off a wall, like. <laughs> what do you mean it feels like it's four degrees Celsius? It's either eight degrees Celsius or it's four degrees Celsius. Don't tell me that it feels four degrees colder than it actually is. You fucking bitch. You flat black bitch. <laughs> Painting goo 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 Oh, I did this wrong. <coughs> Shit. This is a surefire way to know that I'm not a white supremacist or a Nazi enthusiast. <laughs> I fucked up the schwastik. A real Nazi enthusiast would get the schwastik right every time. Me? No. I just love saying schwastik. <laughs> Probably put a black outline on everything now. But I, I'll do that shark first. I'll do, I'll do the shark with the, the box stash first. Kind of want to do a hammerhead. Typically, people do like, you know, like a very generic, like. Nurse shark, grey white, fucking. Did I say grey white? Great white. We'll do a hammerhead. Put a fucking mustache right in the middle. Remember being a kid and looking at a uh, hammerhead sharks and just being like, "How? Why? <laughs> like, how do you end up with a head with a head shaped like that?" Like, 
Like, what purpose does that serve? Looking like you stuck your head in a fucking laminating machine or some shit, like, you know, it's like... Or one of those machines that, like, you know, molds fucking, like, sheets of steel or something, like, you know, it looks like you just put, like, the fucking head of a shark in one of those things, like... <laughs> Tiny squirt to get the goo throwing. Sometimes it's actually more efficient to just dip the tip. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm not a Mormon. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking, to just dip the tip of the brush in your water bucket, like just a little bit, uh, rather than squirting on the on the palette with the with the water thing. Sleepy house, welcome to a painting go. How are you? Paint paid. For those of you who recently joined the Painting Goo stream this fine Monday, don't forget to order your very own Painting Goo t shirt. The first official painting goo t-shirt. A combination of my divine skills as a painting goo master and Printer Bear's divine skills as a printing master. Click the link in the description to own your very own Riv Raff Ruff painting goo t-shirt. A portion of the proceeds of the Painting Goo t-shirts go directly to Bertaria Ozarks. Support what you like, or it will disappear before your eyes. I suppose on Painting Goo I should say, support what you like, or you have no honor! Painting Goo Goo Goo. Go, go. <coughs> oh, glorious Kepu. The glorious right of heaven shines brightly upon painting goo this fine day. You can clearly see Tobias Beekus Croas, keeper of the Dong U, and Miniberu. Purveyor of the Mapu. Our painting goo posse does not end there, though. Behold! Our very own resident, formerly addicted to cocaine, 850-pound Siberian tiger brother Garros, who tells you to remind... who reminds you. Doesn't tell... Oh, fuck that up. <laughs> To Rika and subscribe to Painting Goo. If you do not, I will remove his aluminium bucket and fring him at you. You will regret this. Do not upset the giant kitty suffering from cocaine withdrawals. Rika and subscribe to Painting Goo. Share Painting Goo with your pharaoh mortars.
I'm gonna give the uh, I'm gonna give the hammerhead shark um, beautiful blue eyes because it's a Nazi shark. <laughs> Six Rogans. <laughs> uh, like well, the fuck it's like fifteen inches worth of Rogan. <laughs> Six Rogans. <laughs> or six times three. Fucking 24. No. 18. <laughs> I cannot do maths while I'm painting. <laughs> My brain can only handle painting and ranting and sip sip. <laughs> maths, too much. <laughs> Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Pale blue. Nazi blue. That beautiful cerulean blue. Paint, paint. Painting go go go. Paint, paint. Switch, bitch. Paint, paint. Painting go 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 go. Painting goo 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 <laughs> Be gone, Tot. One must be delicate when painting hammerhead tiger teeth. Did I say hammerhead tiger teeth? Hammerhead shark teeth. I, I'm gonna paint a hammerhead tiger. That w that would look fucking hilarious. Just do hammerhead versions of different animals. <laughs> I'll do a hammerhead squirrel. That'd look fucking brilliant. <laughs> Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. Hammerhead. Paint, paint. Paint, paint. 
Everything's hilarious. Look. Yeti needs some backup. The Hammerhead Shark is with the Nazis, so you might be right. But I don't know. I mean, it is a f pretty fierce Yeti, and he's equipped with a utility belt, so I think he's got it covered. <laughs> But we could, uh... Yeah, we could, like... Yeah, we could totally put loads of shit in. It is a bit sparse, isn't it? You know? Like, it's hilarious looking. But, like, the painting goo's got a bit, uh... Got fairly chaotic there for a while. I mean, the Xenoboon fucking, uh... Gay Horde painting was fucking intense. Yeah, the Xenoboon... The, the pig bushes... Uh... The fucking gay submarines in the sky. The Xenoboon was, like, ripping off the uh, head of a fucking Jewish elephant. There was loads of stuff in that painting. Um. I beat him again! Dirty Cuban Tiger is too busy sniff-sniffing to cocaine I know! Look at you, Carlos. You have fallen far from your pedestal. Brother Stabaroo, may as well be employed on painting goo. Why do I keep you around, you fucking overgrown kitty? Do not weep, Carlos. It will rust your bucket. Okay. Yeah. There's a bit of fluff just floating in front of the painting. <laughs> just caught my eye there. Hi! Um, yeah, now, now that Dick Ford said it. It was Dick Ford that said it. What is it? Yeah. Now that Dick Ford said it, I kind of do want to put one more thing at least. Maybe coming out of the trees or up on the right hand side here. I also, like, I'm gonna, uh, try and make it a bit more obvious that this is a shark. Because right now it kind of just looks like some kind of mental creature. And then I will, I'll do a, I don't do this in every painting, it depends, like if I, if, if the colours are a bit like, too mishmash and stuff, uh, that's when I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna like comic book the shit out of this and I'll, uh, I'll put a black outline on all the characters, and that way they stick out like stickers, and I think I'm gonna do that with this one. So we're gonna be in Liberia for a bit longer, while I make this bitch pop. And no, that's not a sexual reference. <laughs> For all of you dirty-minded Japanites, including myself. And in case anyone has forgotten or is concerned, I have not forgotten about the monkey. The making of the monkey is still on the wrist. However, the monkey is not going to get me any monies. So he has been pushed back on the wrist as I have two painting goo. Well, not painting goo. I have two normal painting commissions. And I have the tactical turtle t-shirt to do. So that comes first. The stuff that allows me to financially support my beautiful female comes first. The monkey 
were half to wait. Which I don't mind, because it's basically a reflection upon how much I hate you, breasted monkey king! I did say I was going to, uh, extend, I'm gonna, like, make this more of, like, mossy and stuff, and put a branch coming out here, so the rope is actually going around. Um, I don't know why, but I, I want to put something on a, I, there's no clouds in this painting, right? So I'm gonna put a cloud right here. And we'll put something like aiding uh, the Yeti with blessings on it. And then we'll put like two or another two or three clouds in the background. So the Nazis have Nazi hammerhead sharks aiding them in the battle. In this conflict. But the utility belt wearing Yeti is being divinely blessed by something. Paid, paid. Put it right here. Paid, paid. Paint clouds. Frothy crowds. Paint, paint. What manner of God would bless a Yeti? More than likely an Asian one. We put like a uh, Chairman Mao. So like if the if the Na if the Nazi is fighting the Yeti off the coast of Africa, <laughs> and we need an Asian god, we could, we could put Mao up there, <laughs> blessing the Yeti. Hello. How dare you depict Chairman Mao as a divine entity? <laughs> Would you prefer I painted Jesus, Muhammad, <laughs> like Ganesh, Vishnu? I don't know about you, but the whole painting Jesus thing has been kind of done to death. <laughs> I think the female only looked that up there the other day. It was like, uh, she was like, "Who was that guy that got killed because he painted or not painted? He did those cartoons of Muhammad, and it was like Muhammad was like kissing someone in it. He was like being gay or some shit. And then uh, was it in France or something, or like a lot of Muslimist extremists allegedly shot the place up? Like, like I like I'm ignorant to this because I don't like I don't follow all this buffoonery." Um, but like, is it, was it proven that it was actually Muslim extremists? Like, cause part of me is like, if you wanted to make it out, like Muslims can't take a fucking joke. Um, then every time somebody painted Muhammad, you would like make sure to like pay a lot of psychopaths, um, to go murder a lot of innocent people or some shit like that. Cause that like, they were innocent, like, do you know what I mean? Like mocking something is not cause for like getting you killed it's ridiculous even if it is like you know uh distasteful or you know what's the term like 
even if it's like lacking you know like like if it's like toilet humor or like lowbrow or so or you know it's still it's still humor it's still an attempt at mockery like do you know what i mean like and if you cannot be mocked then like you're pretty weak you know and i don't think the muslim community is fucking weak so like that doesn't really correlate with me like you know that doesn't make sense to me why a culture uh, who, like, <clears throat> is known for being, like, really stalwart and, like, you know, devout and, you know, strong and disciplined and all these things. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense to me why they can't take a fucking joke, you know. You will not mock the prophet. You will not mock the, the royal family. You will not mock the... You can mock fucking anything. It's mockery. Like, it's parody. It's a joke. You can't take a fucking joke. Then they kind of, how dare you, illicit gambling on painting goo, be gone from me, Satan. If you can't take a fucking joke, you're showing yourself to be a really weak culture. So I think that's a, do not advertise my island on this stream. Only I can do that. Um, Kim Jong-il. <laughs> <laughs> just a fat Asian with funny hair. Just, just a, any fat Asian with funny hair. Paint, paint, paint. 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 <laughs> oh, bless me! Goo goo, goo goo, goo goo, goo goo. Painting goo 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 Nothing like a bit of raving goo on a Monday. He may have to resort to fringing natives at the Nazi. <laughs> Be kind of like counterproductive. I am here to defend Greater Africa. It just starts picking up black lads and throwing them off the coast. Like. <laughs> How large of a wrist do you have? <laughs> 
Dorothy. Oh, how dare you! I was about to take a sip, and you interrupted not only the goo, but my sip. Fuck are you. Ooh. Listen to the whoops. Allow the music to permeate your spina. Oh, sip, sip. Ah, the Suro Jam is back. Yeah, the Jong's got the bowl cut, right? They got that shit down, man. <laughs> the Asians don't get many things right, but the bowl cut, fuck me. <laughs> I'd crank this on a 12-hour road trip non-stop. There's like, I think there's like eight volumes of this. There's uh, the horror one. I think they're all, are they all 80s horror? Yeah, it came from the 80s. I think there's like eight volumes of it. So you probably could literally stick it on like, and then it just kind of like slightly changes. I've, I've, uh, I've put on two different ones. There's this one. I think this is my favorite one. But uh, the other ones have some good shit in them too. Painting goo 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 goo. Painting goo 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 goo. Painting goo 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 goo. Paint 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 Yeah, like, if I ever make a cartoon or a video game or something, like, all this, like, synth stuff is gonna be, like, the main, uh, the main soundtrack to it. Like, fucking love this shit. Will we put a Nazi helmet on the shark? Make it even more obvious. What what came before the like isn't there like a German helmet like with a fucking spike on it or some shit? Is that the Byzantines? Is that a different crowd? So many cultures. Fuck's sake, like. Kim Jong un never crap craps. <laughs> In more ways than one. Painting goo goo, painting goo goo. I think I'm getting paint particles up my nose. Paint. Um. Yeah, I just loop it. <laughs> I might buy a new designated turkey shotgun. I don't need it though. Fuck it, eh. Uh... Demon Hunter was only showing me an AK variant that he's fucking thinking of purchasing, like, and his missus turned around to him and was like, you don't need another one. Like, it's like, it's not about need, woman. <laughs> it's about want. <laughs> what did I say? Females will never understand the primal desire for more power. <laughs> I'm gonna need to spray some WD-40 on that fucking mic arm. Bitch screeching. Painting goo 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 goo. Painting goo 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 goo. goo. I am vexed. Painting goo. Painting goo. 
painting good, painting good. Painting good. Painting good. Painting good. Painting good. Pickelhauben. Is that what the helmet's called? Pickle helmet? <laughs> I'm thinking we put Buddha with a bowl cut in the cloud. Cause like, if I put Kim Jong Un or Il or fucking Mao, they're all wearing that kind of like camo green, grey kind of stuff. And like, it'll probably just like blend in with the tree over here, like. Paint. So we'll, we'll do it, we'll do a Buddha with a bowl cut. Make some fresh color. For marking on fleisch color. Painting goo goo. Paint. I want that to be a bit brighter. Ooh. It's like my favorite part of the whole thing. Actually, this and the fucking. I demand to know what's going on in my house. <laughs> Painting goo goo. This is the kind of music you kill a lot of blonde bitches to. With a machete. Or a chainsaw. Or a series of meat hooks. You drag them to your garage. 
Stick to me the boot of your car. Pop up a paint. Creaky. That's a creaky bitch. Time to switch bitches. Oh, she's so fruffy. Painting. Goo, goo, goo. Get those wolves in here. The hammerhead shark with the box stuff. There's always there's always at least one thing in each painting goo that's just like fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think to this day it's like one of my favorite things ever is still the Xenoboon. It's such a fucking brilliant thing. <laughs> just this like vicious creature just ripping the head off an elephant like with its bare hands like with its bare claws I cut a nine foot hammerhead uh, on 2003 you mean in 2003 a replica is hanging in the basement no way that's fucking awesome the goofro is so good today I do not want it to stop you much chi has been gathered. You're most welcome, Stabru. Painting goo, painting goo, painting goo, painting goo. Let's dance more paint, and for that, I will stop painting. <laughs> 
and continue dancing. Goo goo. Goo goo. Goo 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 goo. Goo 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 goo. Goo goo. Goo goo. I am teaching you a fine lesson, Two Acre. Goo 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 goo. Paint, 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 paint. Goo goo. A mortar cannot tell a demigod what to do with his goo goo. Paint, 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 paint. Need a memory. <laughs> Need a memory foam for Defender Ass. <laughs> I like. I don't. I don't put a pillow on the stool. I probably should. Like, but it's like a. It's like a big fucking chunky like seat with like. I think it has memory foam in the fucking thing. I'm not sure. Like, it's a. It's years, years and years of uh, gaming has given me a fucking uh, a ninety degree hole. <laughs> My ass can only take so much goo. <laughs> Bit of squirt for the fro. Open Sezu! <laughs> Actually, more head bob make better pain too. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Too much head bobbing and the paint painting goo might look really fucked up. <laughs> I thought I moved this back far enough to get the whole thing in. Query, I was wrong. Ooh. Mm. Really need to get a webcam or something, so you guys can like. I think I'm thinking of doing that where I like get a I get a webcam and like the webcam is just like looking directly at the painting and like has the whole thing in frame. And then, like, the computer camera's just, like, looking at me. God only knows what painting goo is going to look like in a year or two. Ooh. I fucking, uh, I don't think I'll ever get a green screen. I don't think I'll ever go that far. I kind of always want there to be, like, a low-budget look to painting. <laughs> Whoop, I already read that one. The Buddha portal is about to open. Dirty. <laughs> oh. Glorious Kippu. For a second, or maybe not. Actually, better be. Mm. 
I must anger myself. Beating go 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 Waiting, go 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 go. How do I make it look real Asian? Slant eyes. Voiceover person's gonna get a fucking foot in the mouth if she doesn't shut her fucking face on my goddamn stream! How the fuck dare you come on painting goo and start speaking? You cantankerous whore! You blight ridden wench! Be gone from me, Satan! You have a here! Blight ridden wench is a hilarious one. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of nowhere. <laughs> Bowl cut won't fit through the portal. <laughs> Your new Iranian sponsor should bring pa <laughs> pa 
paint you to new heights. <laughs> Painting you, brought to you by Israel. <laughs> and then the following day, Painting you, now brought to you by Iran. <laughs> Denmark, welcome to Painting you. How are you, brother? I, I will inform you that your protein shake is delicious, and I have been consuming it dairy. Send me link to these jams. Uh, are you in the Telegram chat? Because I'll just stick into the Telegram chat. Or I'll fuck it, uh, I'll share it to you on Instagram or something like. You still have to send me your poxy address so I can send you the Metal Bear painting. The Metal Concert painting. You could even rock this while fishing. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. The Buddha belly needs its own portal. Oh, they did. I missed it. Marigold! Marigold has gained herself much honor this fine day. Oh, Jesus. Can you change the... <laughs> Ira, can you change the music? Just head bobs for hours instead of making more money? Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw blight-ridden wench in 2015. They opened for Lamb of God. <laughs> please tell me that's real. <laughs> I... Please tell me there's actually a band called Blight-ridden wench. <laughs> Do you ever listen to BRW? No, what's BRW? Blight-ridden wench. <laughs> Oh god, I really need to blow my nose. I have like a massive fucking loogie just like up in my left nostril. It's tickering my sinuses. Um, just got back from the gym. Awesome. Stopped for gasoline. I am not diving. I am diving. <laughs> Lama God is playing a mile from my house outside this somewhere. That's awesome. I can't remember which is which. Is it Lama God? Uh, or is it Sep uh, fucking what's that other uh, Pantera? Which one's the one that's uh, I think it's Lama God. It's like now you've got something to die for. I fucking love like your man's vocals in that are awesome. Like fucking love that shit. Like I can't uh, I can't imitate metal music without like a lot of fucking water. I don't have the uh, abdominal the ab abdominal uh, control, and it all like happens in my throat, and then my throat just gets real raw. You're not supposed to do like you're not really supposed to do all of that like goring and screaming uh, tr through your throat. It's like in the it's a combination of your throat and the bowels, like you know. It's like, you're supposed to do it like that, like. Anytime I try to fucking sing along to like something really intense, like you know, uh, like Rings of Saturn or something, like you just end up being like, <coughs> it's horrible. Right, let's make some orange and give this sky-ridden Buddha um, his sash. Painting goo, painting goo, painting goo. Painting. I fucking hate you bitches. Constantly interrupting you. Painting goo, painting goo. Oh my god, I nailed that. Like, I instantly mixed the perfect fucking hue and shade of like Shaolin 
fucking sash, bo like Buddha sash thing. Like, I fucking nailed it. Pay for painting, goo. Look at that. I fucking nailed it. The perfect brand of Arange and Rede. Painting goo 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 Fucking perfect <laughs> Wet wet paint paint No Arangi! Make out a browner! <laughs> I didn't need browner, I needed Arangi! <laughs> Time for some protein and painting. <laughs> I tend to have my protein before painting. <laughs> I don't actually. <laughs> I tend to have my protein post painting. But I had like eight sausages this morning because I woke up feeling like trash. I think, I think I actually might be allergic to carbs. I made a really nice spaghetti bologna, uh, <laughs> spaghetti bolognese. Um, made spag ball last night. And like, I think I'm beginning to see a pattern in the last few years where like, if I have a lot of bread and pasta or something, I just feel like trash the next day. Like to the point where like, I get these waves of like, feeling like if I'm gonna like pass out or something like, just like, just like a wave of tiredness just like goes over me and I'm like, whoa. But I felt like instantly better after some fucking like sausages and I went for a walk and shit. Like, felt well better. Like, this morning I felt like trash. It's horrible. It's definitely my diet. Wait, it's definitely my diet. Oh, Christ. Christ on a cloud. No, it's Buddha. It's Buddha on a cloud. <laughs> That's the fattest Christ I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you ever seen Christ smile like that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like I, like I do. I, I eat a lot of meat. You know, like fish, red meat, white meat, like plenty of chicken, pork red meat and shit like that like but I think I eat like so much carbs as well that like my system is good like I, I don't know like I might be celiac like I have such I have such an aversion to doctors that over the last like 10 15 years I've just been like like if like if I like feel horrible I try to like uh, I try to recollect what I've had in the last like 72 hours or something and I'm like Maybe I should just stay away from this, this, and this, or something like. There was a period of time last year where I put on a stone and I felt great most of the time. But in fairness, I was still eating a lot of carbs. So I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I mean, for all I know, I could just be uh, vitamin D deficient. You know, the weather's been quite trash here for the last few months. You know. I spend a lot of time indoors, but then again, I'm a ginge and a really pale skin, so it's not like I need a lot of sunlight. I can literally walk outside on a fucking, on a grey, godless, wilderness dull day, and I still get plenty of vitamin D. Um, and like the la when I went to that fucking uh, female chiropractor, um, she fucking, uh, like I gave her me si symptoms and she did a few tests on me, and she was like. <laughs> You, you might have cancer. I was like, oh god, here we go. Like, like, that's that's the problem I have with uh, modern medicine and modern like mainstream medical practitioners. Is like, I I I've said this before. Like, I genuinely think that being diagnosed with something allegedly is like actually what 
fucks with most people and makes them sick. Because if the placebo effect works, which we know it does like on like a lot of people, take this pill, you'll feel better, and then they just feel better. It's like mind over matter is like a huge portion of your existence, like, you know? If you think there's something wrong with you, then there will be something wrong with you if you genuinely think there's something wrong with you. And I don't think there's anything wrong with me. I just have days where I'm a bit off. And I'm honest with myself, so I'm like, okay, yeah, like, I had a lot of chocolate and cookies there the other day, like, you know, so, you know, I've had a lot of junk food, so, and I've had a lot of carbs, and I haven't worked out in a few days, so that's probably what it is, like, you know, like, like, I... I try to, like, honestly assess the situation and go, well, it's not like you're really healthy, you know? I mean, you smoke, you drink occasionally. Painting goo goo. Um, I, I near, like, I have, like, what I would call, like, a sweet dessert uh, pretty much every day, you know? I'll have something during the day, whether it be fruit or a light lunch, you know, which could could consist of like cheese and crackers or like even a fucking tuna salad or some shit like that. Like, and then in the evenings we'll have like a proper dinner, which is like chicken, potatoes, broccoli, you know, bolognese, chili, fucking st loads of different shit. Like, you know, I have a fairly uh, varied diet. Like, but almost every night or every evening, I'll pound like. Like six chocolate bars, or like you know, two big cookies, or like, um, like I like my sugar, you know. And I wouldn't be surprised if in the last like six to eight months or so, if my body's actually in this like transitional period, where like I'm genuinely starting to like be more consistently healthy. So I wouldn't be surprised if my body's like, with suffering from withdrawals from certain like chemicals and minerals and stuff like that are like you know uh, like certain types of sugar where it's like oh why don't you have the stuff that tastes real nice in your body anymore like you know and i just get these waves of like oh god i feel like shit but then an hour later i feel fine you know i mean like to harken back to what stabaru was saying um a few comments ago like you know I, like i have good energy today you know it's a beautiful day of good energy and positive but you should have seen me when i woke up earlier on i was a foul mood i wanted to fucking i wanted to get a hold of like you know politicians and put my thumbs in their eyes like you know what i mean like i was i was in a fucking bad mood this morning and i haven't worked out today um but my mood shifted you know so it's a combination of things it's like your sleeping pattern your diet and then it's also, like, uh, it's also very personal as well, because, like, everybody's different genetically, you know? So, like, you could, you could have a combination of foods during a week that are, like, really bad for you specifically, and you might not know it, because you don't do that all the time, you know? And so, like, trying to get your, uh, trying to get your overall health honed in to a point where, like, you, you know what works, and you know what makes you feel like shit, and you know what's bad for you, can actually be really difficult if you're not, like, uh, keeping a journal or some shit, like, and you're just working off memory on what feels okay. Um, so, like, part of me might start doing that. It might be like, you know, all right, had this, this, and this today at these times. Feel good today. And then, like, track it for a month or something. And then be like, okay, it seems... I'm, I'm noticing a pattern here. Like, you know, maybe I am allergic to fucking wheat or some shit like which i fucking hope not considering the whey protein is amazing <laughs> tastes amazing like i haven't weighed myself yet though and it's been maybe like you know what a week or two so i'm excited to see uh if i have actually put any weight on i don't feel any thicker not yet anyway but i like uh, i was looking at the other stuff i might i might start taking some creatine might like bloat myself up with some water wait for a while let's see what happens Lots of people uh, talk about fatigue these pa uh, these past weeks. Yeah, and there's another level to it. It's like uh, it could be energetic. Like I heard, um, it sa apparently says this in the Bible: if you mix certain um, like clothing, uh, what would you call them? 
It's like, uh, you know, like different linens, like, you know, fucking... Like a lot of our clothes is... Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the clothes that we'd buy here is made out of like... Uh, oh, what's the fuck called? It begins with P. They're usually like 80%... 80% poly... Poly something. And then... 20% cotton. And then some of them are 100% acrylic. Like I have a jumper. That looks like a wool jumper, but it's 100% acrylic, which means it's plastic. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, like, fucked up, like, um, but yeah, I've heard that, that, like, wearing certain combinations of certain, um, linens or cloth or materials, you know, um, can actually, like, really fuck with your nervous system. Um, and I noticed it when, um... Oh, seriously, that's gonna annoy me now. What's that fucking word? It begins with P. Um, poly something. It's a polyurethane. That's like a type of plastic. I don't know. I'll fuck it. I'll find out later. I've loads of clothes that like are like a blend of two different materials, whether it be cotton or uh, a fucking like a blend of cotton and poly something. Um. Yeah, it's basically a plastic bag, like, like straight up, like, 100% acrylic, and it looks, but it, it's, like, woven to look like wool, like, you know? Um, but I've heard that can really fuck with your, uh, like, everything from your skin to, um, to your nervous system and shit, like, you know, because there's certain frequencies and they fuck with you, like, and I have fairly sensitive skin, so I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, like, I had this one jumper. That I swear to God, when I wore it, it like it made me itch. It just made, and I got like hives from it and shit. But it's made out of the same stuff that some of my other clothes are made out of, you know. And they don't fuck with me at all. So it's like, is it the ratio, or is it the the manner in which the material is used? Is it the dye they put on it to, you know, to give it the color? I don't fucking know. Like, but it, it's the same reality with our with our food. And our drink, and our clothing, and our environment, where like, even some of the boxes that they put food in these days are like made out of certain fucking materials that are like uh, really dangerous and like cancerous alleged shit. Where it's like, if if the food is left in that left like in that material x amount of time, that material starts to bleed into the food. Just like where they talk about, like, um, you know, uh, drinking water out of plastic bottles and stuff. Um, polyester. Is that what it is? Polyester? Yeah. It, like, a polyester and cotton blend. That's what it is. Polyester. Um, there's a fucking... Uh, and, like, isn't that funny when you look at it, like, in an etymological sense? Like, isn't Esther... Like a biblical name of like some Jewish bitch. I can't remember. And then like Polly is like multi and stuff like so. I don't know. That's what I t like. I, t I try to look at the etymology of these things now, and I'm kind of like, like, what are we eating? What are we drinking? What are we wearing? What are we holding? What are we using? You know, like what is it actually? And like when you come into contact with it, what does it do to you? You know. It can be, but like, I try not to think about it too much because, like I said as well, with the placebo thing, it's like if you start to think that like your environment is poisoning you, it, it fucking will, you know? So, what you what you need to. No, not polyamorous! <laughs> it's like the, the fucking. It's a, that's a word I'm not allowed to mention around, around the fucking. around the female. What? What do you mean you could have, like, more than one female? You want to really piss off your woman? Talk it like talk about the idea of you having other women. <laughs> We're under a constant attack. Yeah, like I, I do, like I agree with that, but I try not, to, like I said, I try not to think about it too much. Cause like I'd rather have the mentality of like you know, like Owen's brother, where it's like ah fuck it, like you know. I just eat hot dogs and drink coke, you know, like, whatever, fuck it, like, 
And like, there is a truth to that as well. Whereas like, if you're like, if your internal dialogue and your internal like mental state is like stable and like genuine and congruent and like you genuinely believe that you're fine, then you're probably going to be fine. But if you even have like a sliver of doubt that's kind of like sitting in the back of your mind, where it's like, oh, am I allergic to these clothes? Am I allergic to these foods and all? Like, then your body will actually start reacting in an adverse way. Like, so it's important to just remain positive and like convince yourself and believe that like it doesn't matter what they you know try and do to us or try and surround us with. Our bodies are incredibly resilient in lots of ways, you know. So I think that's the, the most important thing is a healthy mindset. But there is a reality to uh, if you consume too much of these modern products, um, they can definitely have a negative effect on you. Yeah, <laughs> polygamy? <laughs> just say, so the next time you feel like having an argument with your female, just walk up and go, polygamy? <laughs> <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> I... Yeah, I'm looking at the chat now and I just see polyester in it like three times. I'm always doing that where I'm like, I forget to look at chat. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what's that fucking word? And I'm just like constantly trying to think of it and I'm going on a rant and then I look at chat and I'm like, alright, oh, yeah, like three people answered it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm pretty convinced that industrial sugars and additives cause inflammation. Yeah, they definitely do, yeah. Like, all of these fucking, uh, all of these sweeteners, you know? Oh, no added sugar. 0% sugar and all this stuff. And then you read the label, and it's like, oh, yeah, well, but we put, like, natural flavings and, like, uh, flavorings and fucking uh, sweeteners. And then you look at the sweetener, and it's like sucralose and as asfolkame K and all this fucking shit. And, or aspartame and all this shit. And you're like, what even is that? It just sounds like fuck it. Like, it is just like chemical compounds that you're like putting into your body and shit. Like, you know? It's fucking crazy. You do need to keep an eye on that shit. Like, try and just like eat food from um, farmers markets and butchers, you know? But even then, you know, you could get unlucky and like you're. Because I, I noticed that one time where I went to the farmers market and I got like a bag of oranges and uh, they were seedless oranges. So, like, there's a dude who sells, like, you know, like, the rest, uh, like, most of the rest of his products are, like, organic and, like, like you know, uh, real. Like, you know, like, he had, like, kombucha and he had all this, like, you know, like, fresh cabbage and fresh strawberries and grapes and, like, the grapes had seeds in them and stuff. But he had this big box of oranges that were, like, a brand of oranges that he got in. And, uh, they were fucking seedless, you know? So, like, like, if something is seedless, it's more than likely, like, it's like 95% that it's GMO, you know? Don't get me wrong, I know that you can, like, uh, breed, you can cross breed certain vegetables and plants and stuff like that to get different effects. So there might be stuff that's seedless that is, like, is still real. But chances are, if it's seedless, it's not fucking real. Um, so stay the fuck away from that shit, like, you know? Obviously, don't drink tap water, all that crap, like, you know. Get yourself a filter. Um, ideally, you want to get yourself a Berkey filter or some shit like that. Um, I'm not into all of these, like, electronic filters. These, like, high-tech filters. I think they're a, I think they're a cash grab. I think they're a fucking... Um, I think they're chewing you with all of these, like, high-tech... Like, the Kangen filter, the Kangen water, and all this fucking shit. Like, no, just get, like, a Berkey or something, like... You want you want a you want a filter that uses like just natural minerals to filter the water, you know? You don't I don't want one of these filters that like has a fucking digital readout and is like connected to your fucking thing and all like it, Like there's a point there's a point where the truther stuff gets really stupid. And like I think like that's what I kinda like I'm I'm on the same wavelength as Owen with that stuff where it's like you know when he talks about the FBI and shit like that and the government, it's like, you have all these people who get red-pilled and they're like, right, I'm like, I'm against everything now. And it's like, no, like, like that's, you can't, you can't go from like this to just like the other direction. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if anything, you're going to drive yourself insane, get really depressed and sick and all this stuff. It's like, 
just incrementally start taking better care of yourself in various aspects of your life, you know? Start paying attention. That's basically it, you know? Just start paying attention. Be more proactive, you know? Eat less junk food. Try and eat organic shit, even if it is slightly more expensive. Um, and all these, like, all these things. You know, there's no, there's no need, uh, if anything, it'll cause you even more pain and it'll hinder you more than help you if you go, like, hyper-truther, you know? Um, like, you see all these fucking people, like, even now, like, when, the, even when the mainstream is starting to, you know, you're starting to see the pendulum swing and people are talking about things and people are like, well, why can't you say nigger? And, like, they're talking, like, you know, Jordan Peterson is talking to people about, like, fucking how horrifying the trans situation and stuff is. It's like, the pendulum is starting to swing. So, like, don't, like, don't be one of these fucking idiots that's like, you know, you know, oh, fucking, they're trying to kill us. Like, you know, it's like, yeah, they are. But, like, it's a slow drip, you know? It's a slow death where it's like, if you keep doing the stuff that you're doing mainstream now, when you get to your 60s, you're probably going to, like, have some form of cancer or you're going to have a heart attack or uh, you may develop a brain tumor or, like, your, your your blood toxicity level will be really fucking high and you'll get, like, some kind of uh, autoimmune disease or some shit like that, like, do you know what I mean? Like, the reality of the situation is, is that, like, if you live in a city, particularly, you're surrounded by stuff that is designed to pretty much kill you, like, give you a slow death. Kind of like, you know, boiling the frog scenario. But if you live in an area like I live, where it's, like, semi-rural, um, and you have access to, like, genuine real food at a butcher's or like a farmer's market or some shit like that and even some supermarkets sell farmer's goods and stuff um you know just just make a concerted make a proactive effort to have more of that stuff in your life and like over a long period of time like you'll like i've noticed it like uh, my mindset is better my health is better my like you know i'm my level of like you know spiritual shit is better it's just like i just feel better overall and i still like i said i still eat cookies i still fucking you know i still have some ice cream so, like we got fucking uh we got a drive through burger stuff there the other day from like a place called around the corner called supermax and like it was fucking delicious like do you know what i mean um it's like it's not got like it's not like you're gonna have uh it's not like you're gonna go to the shop and buy uh frozen burgers and fucking like one of them is gonna fucking give you like uh pancreatic cancer or some shit it doesn't work like that like do you know what i mean it's like if all you eat is microwave food then you're you're probably gonna die young you know if you're an alcoholic you're probably gonna die young if you smoke way too much, you're probably gonna die young, you know? But then, even in those scenarios, there's still genetic outliers. There's people who smoke, there's people who chain smoke and last till their 90s. There's people who are like insane alcoholics and last till their 90s. There's people who fucking eat nothing but utter trash and last till their 90s, you know? So like, that's, what, that's why my opinion is it's a, uh, the most of it, 95% of all this is in here. It's in your fucking head. It's all about this, like, convincing you of something, you know? They're selling they're selling you the idea that your environment is trying to kill you. Your environment's not trying to kill you. The people in your environment are trying to kill you. But they're not trying to kill you like that. They're trying to kill you after they've made a shit ton of money off of you. You know, so actually their strategy is to slowly poison you over a long period of time. You know, so they'll make money off of you buying all the junk food. They'll make money off of you going to the pub every day. They'll make money off you fucking buying uh, all of these pharmaceutical goods. And then once all of that finally kicks in in your 40s, 50s, 60s, they'll make a shit ton of money off of you getting into debt because now you've got cancer in my personal opinion that's how all this works you know it's a it's a slow descent into hell into babylon and if you're like me and you're fucking you know still fairly young you're in your like early 30s and shit like that and you've decided to turn all this around in the last like five odd years 
You're gonna be fine. Like, you're gonna be fucking fine, like. Like, I get days where I feel like trash. But... I, like, if somebody told me I'd have cancer, that, uh, that I have cancer or whatever, like, I, I, like I did, I just laughed at her. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's like, I don't think I have some kind of, like, illness or some shit. I just need to look after myself better, you know? And I think that's genuinely the solution for, like, most people, you know? It's like, in reality, you probably could have some kind of, like, what we call cancer is like, you know, some kind of like heavy toxic load or bacteria build up or like some kind of like mold growing in uh, in your intestines or in your body or something like in your any of your organs or something. And if you don't deal with it and if, if you don't better your life, then yeah, it'll eventually kill you. But I don't think how it works is all this bullshit of like, oh, you've got cancer. You're going to be dead in six months. If you believe that, then that's going to happen. I think that's what happened to my mother's mother, uh, fucking uh, my grandmother on my mother's side. She was a re like for all intents and purposes, she was a very healthy person. Um, jogged regularly, did all this fucking stuff. The second she was with lung cancer, she was fucking dead inside six months. You know why? Because she fucking believed them. Because she took their treatments. Because she she behaved as if she had cancer. You know. I don't, like, I behave as if I'm fucking immortal. <laughs> like, I'm like Archer. I'm like, I'm like Archer, like, you know, like, I fucking... That's a funny thing, isn't it? I'm like Archer out of Archer, because the show is, like, named after him. Um, Like, I genuinely, be like, I behave as if, like, I can't be killed. <laughs> like, even though I get days where I'm like, oh, I feel like shit. I don't think I'm gonna die. Like, even at my, even on my worst days... Uh, where I'm like, Jesus, I feel like I'm gonna like pass out or get sick or some shit like that. Like, I've passed out plenty of times. <laughs> like, I've fucking gotten sick plenty of times for all sorts of reasons. Drinking too much, taking too many drugs in the wrong combinations. Like, all these things. Like, do you know what I mean? The human body is incredibly resilient in all sorts of ways. But if you start caving to the idea that you're like, oh no, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, then you will, you know? It's like, your your willpower is like, almost everything, like, do you know what I mean? I mean, look at military training and stuff like that, like, you know, you can, you can put yourself through some shit, and like, starve yourself, and like, get really dehydrated, and fucking like, be poisoned, and like, riddled with venom, and all this fucking shit, and if you just like, keep going, you could survive a lot, you know? So, that concludes today's pep talku. <laughs> um, the grabbled ingredients sound like incantations from a spell book. Yeah, they fucking do. Like, fucking Aspartame KU! <laughs> like, it's fucking ridiculous. Ooh, Danish butter cookies. Ooh. Ooh. Um, I love my Berkey filter, as you should. Uh, you want it was a Juju Lequeu bear has a Berkey filter, and every time I took water out of a Berkey filter, I was like, oh my god, this water tastes like you can taste the minerals in it, but it doesn't taste like dirt or anything. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's mad. Like, like you know, you know when you're eating and drinking real shit, especially if you've like you know been eating and drinking. Uh, fake shit for a while. When you eat the real stuff, you're like, holy fuck! There's a big difference to it, like... But, like, Owen has even said that before, it's like... Eating trash isn't gonna kill you in 24 hours. It's gonna kill you in 24 years, you know? So just pay attention, look after yourself, make an effort, you know? You don't have, like, you're not gonna succeed in everything in life the first time you try it you know what's important is repetition discipline perseverance and the willingness to try as hard as you can like every day when you wake up see you later denmark um i have zero filter plus mineral stones at the bottom i have a zero filter plus mineral stones at the bottom what's a zero filter is that like a tech filter Right, I'm gonna call it there.
<clears throat> I got shit to do and my ass is number. So, rages, gentlemen, bears, bearettes, niggers, niggerettes. This concludes the Monday episode of Painting Goo. I hope you enjoyed Ingu. I will return. Same timer, same placer, same high octane painting energy. 3 p.m. GMT tomorrow. Be here. Or risk shaming yourself and your family. Your ancestors will ruse or respect for you if you do not appear on Painting Goo. Click one of the many rinks in the description. Buy my merchandise. Buy a painting goo. Buy a t-shirt too. The painting goo t-shirt. Portions. Apologies. My back is very stiff. Buy a painting goo t-shirt. Some of the pr proceeds go to Bartario Ozarks. And it makes money for me and Printer Bear. So. Do those things. And I shall see you again. Farewell! Goodbye! Enjoy the rest of your evening! And pay for painting, dude!